The Mushilan village is about 400 years old. In the last 60 years, most of the villagers move out of the village to look for a better opportunity outside. So it's basically deserted. The Forest Village program in Mushilam aims to revitalize the natural and cultural landscape of Mushilam and Kaptong, the two remote villages in the new territories. From our experience in Lajiwo, we try to put in more economic activity here. A new initiative is about the setting up of a camping area. We think it's important to improve the connectivity between uh, different villages. We aim to repair some of these damaged trails so that apart from the villages, the visitors could also uh, enjoy the view as well. Muchilam, Kaptong and Lai Chiwo, the three villages are physically connected. So you can walk from Lai Chiwo to Muchilam and Kaptong within like 20 minutes. The Forest Village project is a very good example demonstrating knowledge exchange and knowledge sharing. We have a multidisciplinary team, not just from Hong Kong U, but also from the other NGO sectors. And we've worked very closely with the government. I'm involved with the research side of the Forest Village project, particularly looking at rural stewardship. So what makes a good rural steward and how you can sustain the impact from some of these projects. In order for it to be um, sustainable and, and to be part of modern society, we need to find ways to bring the community back into it, but also ways to preserve the, the culture and the heritage and, and the traditional feel and, and people of that village. We hope to bring in more visitors here to have a genuine experience of the village and at the same time bring in some income for the villagers as well. Today we are having the Citizen Scientist Program. We try to engage a group of public members coming to the village, collecting data for the uh, longer term monitoring of our forests in the village. We invited the Outdoor Wildlife Learning Hong Kong, an NGO who specialize in environmental education. They provide training to our participants to do the tree surveys and measurement, etc. With our project initiative, we do a lot of testing and trial and then later on, with uh, the success of the trial, the villagers could take up what we started and make the whole village uh, sustainable in the long run. So the white quadra is mainly for the measurement of the undergrowth coverage to see what is the dominant species within the white quadra. The findings we have right now is the more mature fengshui wood just at the back of the village is holding much more carbon than the younger secondary forest back there. So it's very important for us to recognize um, this use of the functional wood and um, to conserve it with the village itself. It is a great way to allow um, citizens to have a hands-on experience on the scientific research sector, um, which seems so distant to them beforehand, and we can actually use some of the effort in helping our research. In Hong Kong, we are used to urban environment, but there are a lot of rural environment that we have ignored. The architectural environment, natural environment, biodiversity, that is very high value. What a pity. Like Hong Kong U, they are very dedicated to explore new solutions for the community. We are very glad that we can fund them to do this experiment. We are also facilitating them to innovate new ideas and methodologies in revitalizing uh, villages such as Wuchila. Countryside Conservation Office is the funding agency for our Forest Village project. They also facilitate us in putting together a planning application for establishing a camping site in Muizilam. With people sharing knowledge, they don't have to reinvent the wheel that people have already invented. We can all together do a synergy and bring the community to a higher level. The rural villages have totally different character, environment, culture from the urban areas. For a city to be rich in culture, it must have a diversity. The rural environment provides such diversity for the whole community. We are in fact more forward-looking. We want to work out a feasible and much more sustainable model 
for this village together with those who are interested in joining us.